Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Hiva and here on my channel I cover recent missing person cases. If you're into that type of content and haven't done so already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to become a part of this awesome little community that we have here. So how are you guys? I've missed you. Unfortunately, I've been kind of MIA because I haven't been feeling the best. I actually had COVID, so that took a few weeks to get over. On top of that, my mental health hasn't been the best, but I love making these videos and discussing cases with you guys, so I wanted to put out at least one more video before this year ends. With all of that being said, thank you for sticking with me, and let's go ahead and get into today's case. On December 20th, 2021, Lena Sardar Kill was last seen at a park near her San Antonio home at the Villas del Cabo apartment complex. At around 5 p.m., Lena, who is reportedly three years old, was at the park with her pregnant mother. A lot of people have questioned Lena's age, but I'll get more into that as we go on. A short time later, her mother allegedly stepped away for a few minutes, potentially to run to the apartment nearby. Lena has a younger sibling, so maybe her mother went to check in on them. When she returned, however, Lena was gone. It initially comes off as questionable that Lena's mom would leave her at the park alone, seeing as she is so young. However, there were other families at the park that Lena and her family know. Lena's mom probably told one of the parents that she would be right back and assumed that everything would be okay, never expecting that this could happen. Something that may help us understand this case is that Lena's family moved to the US in 2019 from Afghanistan. Her parents don't speak the best English and it's not clear whether Lena did at all. The complex they live in houses many other immigrants and refugees. Like in many other communities of immigrants, people become close and help one another since they oftentimes share a language and culture. There's also a lot of trust built between these people. In fact, the Afghan community in San Antonio have a WhatsApp group to communicate with one another. When her mother realized that Lena was missing, she called Lena's father, who works as a truck driver and was away at that time. He quickly went home and they began searching for Lena. The family initially believed that she may have gone to an Afghan friend's home. After all, she was at the park and it seems like they knew the other families around. The family sent a message within the WhatsApp group that I mentioned earlier to alert the others in the community that they didn't know where their daughter was and were just basically asking for help. However, it was quickly discovered that Lena wasn't at a friend's home and authorities were alerted. After Lena was reported missing at 7.15 p.m., Officers went door to door, speaking to neighbors and searching the area, but Lena was not located. Since then, security cameras have been analyzed and are continuing to be analyzed. Most of the individuals who were in the area at the time of Lena's disappearance have been identified and spoken to. However, there is still some time that needs to be accounted for, and according to Chief McManus, there are several people that are being looked into. With a translator on hand, officials left nothing on the table. The night team's John Paul Barajas gives us a closer look. Ready? No. It's all hands on deck to find little Lena Keel, who was last seen at the Villas del Cabo apartment complex on Monday. New video of her just now being released. And today, San Antonio police and the FBI met with the Islamic Center of San Antonio to let them know they're doing everything they can to find Lena. And, and this will hopefully give you an indication of how much we care about you and your community. There's about 15 different organizations that assisted us with this search. Chief William McManus went on to say so far they've searched just under 300 apartments, some more than once. They brought in search dogs as well as 70 cadets who are still in training to search fields and the surrounding areas, gotten surveillance video from nearby businesses, as well as requested the FBI's assistance. Aside from that, authorities have been very tight-lipped, which is definitely understandable. But in my opinion, it seems like they're leaning towards the idea that Lena was taken. In my opinion, again, that's completely possible. The complex the family lives in is not the best nor the safest. 
Many of the gates are broken and community members report that they've seen cars driving in and out of the complex in the middle of the night. I've also seen comments of staff or others entering apartments without permission, which is terrifying. Before I wrap this video up, something I'd like to address is Lena's age. She is reported as being 3 years old, but is also 4 feet tall and weighs 55 pounds. Also in her pictures, she appears to look older than 3. While I'm not sure if this is the case here, I do have a possible explanation. Based on my own experience as an immigrant myself with many other immigrant friends, this is very common among immigrants. Many times, birth certificates don't exist or can easily be fabricated. People will change their children's age, usually to be younger, for a multitude of reasons. Sometimes it's in order to prolong benefits or services, including public assistance or welfare. For example, many services stop when an individual reaches the age of 18 or 21. So to put off that deadline or prolong the period of benefits, a child who's actually 5 or 6 may be registered as being 3 or 4. I hope that makes sense, and if you're an immigrant yourself, let me know if you know about this. Like I said, it's extremely common and there are other reasons why people may do this. So again, let me know if you know anything about this or people who have done this. Regardless of her age, however, we have recent pictures and measurements of Lena, which is obviously useful and necessary. I've also seen some criticism of the family and want to speak on that for a moment. There's a huge language barrier here and Lena's father has had to have a translator with him or use an electronic one. So things get lost in translation and that can lead to inaccuracies and misunderstandings. Well tonight we spoke with the father just feet away from where his daughter vanished. <laughs> The pain and emotion is too real for this father. He fell to the ground when asked what he misses most about his little girl. No. The child's father spoke exclusively to Ken's five through a translator. Ria Sadarkil says he and his pregnant wife have not eaten or slept since Monday. There's also a cultural component of things. While I'm not from Afghanistan or Muslim myself, I am from Syria, a country in the Middle East that's predominantly Muslim. So I understand some of the traditional norms that we might see playing out here. In one photo, I believe it was at the prayer vigil, there are mainly men pictured and huddled together. Some question the lack of women present and their lack of involvement overall. In my opinion, this is completely normal for the traditional culture, and it's not uncommon for men and women to congregate separately. In fact, there are still some weddings where women and men celebrate in completely different rooms. I've also seen some criticism of Lena's mother for not being very present in the media or making a plea on camera. While this can be a red flag, I think it can be explained by culture. I'm not saying that it's right, and in this specific case, it might not be the reason at all, but I just want to provide some background. A YouTube channel called Moms for the Missing spoke to a friend of Lena's family who explained the cultural norms further, and I'll link that in the description if you're interested in watching. Regardless, a child is missing and disappeared from a playground. It's absolutely horrific, and I can't imagine the pain the family is experiencing and the terror that community members are feeling. My heart goes out to them, and I hope they don't have to start 2022 without their baby girl. Lena Sardarkil is 4 feet tall and weighs 55 pounds. She has brown hair and brown eyes. If you have any information about her whereabouts, please call the number in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video and for listening to Lena's story. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next one.